Okay, welcome back, Cotter Pen Garage. Uh, today we got the 2000 Ford Excursion 7.3 liter four wheel drive. Uh, the missus has been complaining about it um, lacking power up the hills in the mornings when it's cold. Um, I suspect that the screens in the uh, tank, 44 gallon big boy tank, are clogged up and maybe the uh, pickup screen foot has either fallen off or is clogged up as well. So um, we're gonna drop it, check it out, replace the screens, replace the foot, and uh, just take a look at all the other fuel system along the way, check the pump, and uh, change the fuel filter that's up in the engine bay. So let's get to it. All right, well here's the tank, big skid plate. There's two bolts there and there, and then if you go to the front, there's two more right there. And I tried to wash off the tank and I uh, missed quite a bit on the hitch. So that'll be fun. Put some safety glasses on or something, but four bolts, put a jack underneath it. We'll lower it down. I might have to jack the axle up a little bit because the tank's pretty tall. Get it to slide out between the hitch and the floor. Um, but that's what we're gonna work on. So I got the tank supported, now I gotta get the uh, fill and vent tube um, hose clamps loosened and get those hoses off. And then I can start taking out the 18 millimeter bolts, two in the front, two in the back. So there's your uh, fuel center connector. And then you got your two fuel lines right there. Saved you the embarrassment, watch me struggle these off. But it's basically, where they go, 5 sixteenths, um, socket on the uh, hose clamps, pry them off, and then drop the whole thing down. I've got it sitting on the jack right now. Just gotta slide it out after I disconnect the fuel lines in the uh, sending unit. All right, so I get the tank out, had to jack up the side a little bit, clear the hitch so I could slide it out. Um, I have 2000, so I didn't have the quick disconnects. Um, so you need the fuel uh, disconnect tool, little half clamp. Uh, 3 8 for the uh, fuel side, and 5 16 for the uh, return side. And then disconnect your setting unit pigtail, and that's it. This is uh, what I'm using if you wanna get one of the disconnect tools. 3 8 5 16 I got the set with all of them. It is a, uh, it says on it, oil cooler line disconnect, but they work for fuel lines. All right, so I cleaned it up, taped off all the ports, some rubber glove. Now you gotta take a screwdriver, knock this ring, or they make a wrench if you have the wrench, but just knock this ring on the flat, you know, counterclockwise, ready, tighty, lefty, loosey. Once you get the ring off, um, pull the sending unit out and be careful of the float arm because it comes in and over. So you have to kind of pull it up and come out with it at an angle. all the way around that was the worst one I've seen it's pretty crummy in there but uh, I got it free now so we'll pull it out get it on the bench and uh, check the screens So first thing I noticed, no foot, it's gone. So that uh, can't get all your fuel 
when this bell is gone. I'll go get the new part and show it to you. But that's completely fallen off. So that's probably in the tank somewhere. Um, I was gonna clean the tank all the way out anyway. Um, now we gotta take this plastic portion out. There's two screens in here, here and here, which they don't look super dark, but we'll get them out, see what they look like. But definitely missing the foot. So a good thing I got a new one to replace that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, those needed changing. Look at that. They're not terrible, terrible, but they're not. I mean, the foot's missing, the screen's needed changing. The rest of it looks pretty good. I'll clean it up, hit it with some brake clean. Look, there's debris in there. See, it's just sitting in there because your foot's gone. So the screen, it was letting stuff in there and the stuff that was getting caught by this is settling back down in there. Yeah. You see all that stuff? Yeah. yeah. Ew. Oh my God, David. Ew, David. Ew, David. Yeah, so I'll blast that out, clean it out, scrape it out. But yeah, that's definitely part of the problem. All right, so there's the foot right there, and then you can see where it's clean, where the foot's been moving, and then all the black stuff is just like r rubber, sediment, whatever. So all this fuel's gonna come out and uh, get put in a smudge pot or something else, and I'll clean it all out and put some brand new fuel in it after I fix the uh, sending unit screens and put the new foot on. Okay. So after flushing it out, this is what you need. I'll put uh, part numbers in the description. Um, I got these from the dealer. Probably should have ordered them from Riff Raff Diesel. They're cheaper that way. And then uh, you need two of these screens. They only come in a one pack, which I don't understand why, because every sending unit uses two of them. That's what your new one looks like. That's what your old one looks like. Or my old one, rather. But two of those. And uh, good to go. So put that back on. Put that back on. And here we go. those and then this is gonna go back on right here I'll just reuse the hose clamp looks fine all right it'll be time to clean the tank Much better. Okay, so if you've got an excursion, you probably heard of the Hutch mod or the Harpoon mod. I did the Harpoon mod and cut this much off of the filler. Um, just a ratcheting sprinkler pipe. It made a nice clean cut. Um, no shavings. And then I put the foot on and I measured the overall length and I got 15 and three quarter. Right now I'm sitting at about 16. So I reamed this out to get it to go higher. And then you also have to make sure that this isn't popped down like so, cause you'll, it won't seal. So you need to make sure that it's in there all the way up. And then you got to try to get this all the way up. I don't know if it's just a problem with my excursion, but this ended up being too long, just putting this on normally. Um, and I've checked everything else. So it's good to go back in. Like I said, did the harpoon mod. I didn't do the hutch mod. That's putting your return way out past your float. So to not disturb your float. I'm not gonna bother doing that. Um, but I'm gonna put it back together and get it back in the truck. Okay, so sending units back in. 
It was an absolute bear. I don't know if I had the wrong locking ring, but I had to beat it back on the whole time like it was cross-threading, but it's tight and uh, I got it on there. So now it's time to shove it back up underneath this thing. It's empty, should be easier. And then uh, put the pipes back on, sending unit and the uh, two fuel lines. So I got the tank back in, uh, keyed the truck one time, let the electric fuel pump prime the fuel system. It fired right up, uh, drove around a bit. Seems to be doing really good. Um, so job done. I'm gonna drive it, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 miles, whatever. Change the fuel filter in the engine compartment. And uh, that should be a wrap on dropping the tank, fixing the pickup, foot screen and the two filter screen elements whatever ford calls them and uh yeah so thanks for watching like comment subscribe you got any questions you're getting ready to do yours um drop it in in the uh, comment section below thanks